Hi, and welcome back to our tutorials on CSS. In this video, I want to begin talking about how to use CSS to format tables of information. You can see here, I've actually created a table, and it has a header area here inside of the T head, and a couple of rows. I'm actually using a row as my heading here, my main heading instead of a caption. Either way works. And you can see here, I've got my headings their scope is column and then in the body I've actually got four different rows and then finally I have a footer section, a t-foot section down here that again is defined in a row spanning four columns and it just basically has a copyright statement down there and then obviously I close my table. Now nothing in this structure identifies the way this table should be formatted. And that's really the way it should be. Your HTML should only be used for structuring content unless you're pulling your content out of a database. Then it should only be used for structure. All of your presentation, all of your visual elements, all the way your document looks should be contained in a CSS file. So we're going to come into CSS and we're going to begin to define the way this table is going to look. And the only style that I've created here is basically a body style that sets the font and the font size, the font weight, and specifies the line height. So it's sort of a little mini reset there. So I can come down here and I can begin to create styles to format my table. Now, we can use, um, for the most part, we can use either tag styles or class styles, depending on what we're doing. Let's begin by working with some of the uh, tag styles and applying some CSS to them. The first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and define what my table is going to look like here. So I've gone ahead and I've opened up a style for the table tag. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to set the width of this table. If the width of the table is not set, it's going to automatically be just large enough to fit the content. And you can see everything is sort of smooshed together here. Now, you could have set this in the HTML with the width property. But again, everything about the way a table visually looks should be in your CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and open the width property here. And I'm going to say that this table should be 450 pixels wide. And I'm going to go ahead and close that style. And when we come over here and click you're going to see, and actually I'm going to go into live view here, you're going to see how that table has now been spaced out. You can see a few things in here. My um, title row up here is not centered, neither is my footer. My header row here is centered, and they're actually bold. And the reason for that is that when I go into my source code, you're going to go ahead and see that the first row are THs, so they're formatted a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and come back in here to the CSS. I'm going to leave myself in live view here just to um, work a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some padding on each one of these cells. And that way things aren't so smooshed together. So I'm going to go ahead and create another style. And I want to place padding on both THs and TDs. So this is going to be a group selector. I put them both in there, TH comma TD. And I want to set the padding all the way around to 8 pixels. I'll close my style and click. And you're going to see my table spaced itself out. So now things aren't quite so close uh, together. Now I could choose to align these items up here in my header to the left. Or I could choose to center my data. And that's actually what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and my THs and my TDs, I'm going to go ahead and set the text align property. And I'm going to select center for the value. And I'll save that and click over here. And you're going to see now everything centered, including the caption or the, cap, uh, the uh, title, because it's not in a caption. It's actually in a data cell within a row. And the same thing is true with my footer. So I was able to center all those very easily 
just by using the text align property. Now, the table itself is actually just flowing within the document flow. And since it's the first thing in the document, or actually the only thing in the document in this case, you're going to see the table moves over to the left and it comes up to the top. If I want to change that, I can set the margin properties for the entire table. So what I want to do is I'm going to push this table down a little bit from the top and I want to center it on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here to code view. And there's my table style. And I'm going to go ahead and say margin. Uh, the margin top and bottom should be 50 pixels. And the margin left and right should be auto. In other words, it should space equally on both the left and the right. And remember, that should center my table. And I will save and come back. I'm going to design view here. And you're now going to see that the table is centered on the page. And it's pushed 50 pixels down from the top. There's also 50 pixels of margin at the bottom. But since we don't have any other text, we can't really see that. Let me go ahead and enter this on in here. And I've got a final paragraph here, and I'm just going to go ahead and type paragraph in there and save it. And you'll see that paragraph is pushed down below my table. So we were able, by using the table tag, to define both the width and the top and bottom margin, as well as either center it on the page or set its left and right margins. In our next video, we're going to talk a little bit about um, background colors and applying background colors and borders to our table.